So as I said, we're going to talk more about the adaptive branch of the immune system, with our two branches being cellular and humoral. First, I want to talk about the humoral branch. The humoral branch um, deals with B lymphocytes. So B lymphocytes can recognize complete antigens. And so you have literally thousands and thousands of B lymphocytes roaming around your body. So this is a B lymphocyte that's that are naive. They have not met their um, antigenic match. And once they're, so that would be their little surface antigen waiting for the, you know, appropriate bad guy to come that, matches, all right, so that would be the antigen. Once these two link up together and there is a, you know, docking going on, that B lymphocyte is going to go berserk, and it is going to end up creating two different types of cells, okay? One type of cell is going to be a memory cell, and these memory cells are going to stick around potentially for your lifetime, and they are basically going to resemble this cell right here. They're going to have this specific little antigen that it has right here, um, antigen receptor, excuse me, so that if this orange antigen ever comes into your body again, you're going to be able to recognize it super fast, okay? And then the other type of cell that it produces is a plasma cell. And the plasma cell is going to end up creating all of these antibodies. And the antibodies are going to have this special receptor on it that is going to be able to attack or recognize this orange antibody over here, or antigen, excuse me, over here, okay? So it's not the B lymphocyte itself that produces antibodies, but it's the plasma cells. So the B lymphocyte can recognize the whole antigen. Once that happens, it goes through a process called colonal selection. So this is the colonal selection, where it ends up creating plasma cells and memory cells, but mostly just plasma cells. Plasma cells, unlike memory cells, are going to hang around for a couple days, um, and they're going to crank out antibodies. Antibodies are going to get put in your fluids, um, blood plasma, what have you. Um, they're going to get secreted in all different fluids of your body, and they are going to hopefully recognize this bad guy right here um, and do a number of different things to neutralize it or prevent it um, from causing any issue. These memory cells are then going to hang out for potentially a lifetime in your lymphoid organs, just waiting for this orange antigen to come back. Uh, your adaptive immune system can actually work basically on two different ways. There, there can be a primary exposure, which is the first time that you're exposed to something, um, or a secondary exposure, which is the second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. Um, time that you are exposed. I'm going to show you in a second what that looks like.